86 inches long, 12 to 14 inches high, 10 inches wide at the base. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. And welcome to the next episode of... Welcome back, you guys. Build 2. D here. Uh, working on these guys. This is the second two. We're going to be piling some junk up here on the outer part of the wall. And we're going to be doing some carving on the inside of the wall. Something for you to note. These were... They hold some nostalgia for Jay and I and our gaming group, our original gaming group we've been palling around with for 20 plus years. Jay built these for a massive 40K game, God, about 15 years ago. Hopefully I'm remembering right now to get some of those shots of that game up there um, and what the wall looked like. It was much bigger and I still have pieces to work with. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. If you like our content, Jay and I's, Please give a like, please subscribe. We'd love it. We got a lot of work we've got to do here on these guys. So let's get to it. Not planning on an awful lot of talking on this one, you guys. More for you guys to watch. This is part two anyways, but the big difference is, is that you're gonna be watching me carve into these things. I had originally thought that uh, Jay had told me he made them out of cereal boxes and then uh, went over it with the XPS foam. Turns out he took out the cereal boxes after he formed the XPS foam uh, around them, which is really cool. Um, Jay, if you wanted to get on in the comments and fix me on that, I might be remembering that wrong, but a lot of this just scratch build, bashing away at my bits piles and just rebuilding things. There are a lot of blind spots on this guy, no doubt. Um, this piece is more for, well, it's a wall. It's supposed to <laughs> end one thing and start another thing or block out another thing. There's a lot of things walls do. But um, I'm going to let you guys get back to this. And I really hope you enjoy it. We'll see you at the split.
Just wanted to break into the middle here, guys. We got to do the outsides. I just absolutely love it. We're going to put some more detail on these because I want access points into the or through the dust wall that uh, are kind of not sanctioned. Uh, one, I have a plan on a uh, drain pipe coming out. And the second one is going to be a blasted in area. They're both going to be somewhat buried so that the, the guys on the top of the wall can't really see what's going on. Not entirely sure how all this is going to fan out right at this point. I'm going to put them on the 45 degree angles that Jay so wonderfully built into these walls all those years ago. Hopefully this all turns out. I don't know. I'm still building it here and uh, you know i'm shooting as i'm building so i know a lot of other creators have plans and things like that but you know hopefully you guys are enjoying the fact that i don't run on a plan i don't script anything i just let it rip and you guys can see it uh all right so let's get to it this is really going to be my first time that i actually put a model on this for scale um yeah and if i'm dancing around with this is, this is what modeling's all about. Put little guys down and you make the pew pew noise and move them around. Kill each other. That's the whole point of the game. The idea behind um, the infiltration throughout the wall, um, I wanted to do on these two pieces, uh, not the two by the gate. I would think the gate would be watched a little bit more. Uh, here we go. A little broad broad scum or uh malstrain brood scum model there yeah <laughs> always got a set for scale uh even with these massive pieces um because we are gonna play on them uh it's gonna be kind of limited play you know top bottom not really in the middle like i'm normally used you know known for uh, here we go big pile of junk Next thing I wanted to do was another failed project uh, that I didn't bother throwing away. I don't remember why I didn't throw it away, but yeah, this is the uh, sprue goo technique. Um, and of course it warped while it was drying and you know, I just figured, hey, what the heck, I'll, I'll save this thing. You know, it just goes in the, goes in the box of stuff. Uh, wow, this is gonna be great. Uh, like I said, this is the secunda side of the wall, so figured part of it was shearing off from the gravitonic forces on that side. Um, I know on the map it's, you know, about a thousand miles between this wall and, and secundus, but what the heck? <laughs> little artistic, little artistic uh, maneuvering on my part, but... Uh, yeah, anyways, this one turned into a tent, which was uh, pretty cool. Uh, I, I really had no idea how this was all gonna build. I just started grabbing stuff and gluing stuff up. Turned out really well though. But I'll let you guys get to it here. To the same texture here uh not a whole lot on this on this video you guys saw plenty of that last video 
did mix it just a little thinner than I did on the first two pieces, uh, just to get that more uh, just wavy effect on the uh, the secundus side of the wall. Yeah, this side, you can see it. Now, granted, it looks like it's really runny. Of course, this footage is sped up <laughs> quite a bit. Um, it's not that runny, uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll let you get to the walkthrough here pretty, pretty quick. painting of this has begun as I'm making this other video. Yeah, that's right. I already clogged the new airbrush up. <laughs> Anyways, should be up soon. I'm really excited for the way this is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, seeing what I'm doing here. I know it's ridiculous, but as always, please like and subscribe.